Oh, good afternoon. Um, so as you know, uh, we've shipped a few of the Sigmas um, already. Um, and I've gotten some requests na kung pwede namin, uh, pwede kaming one ng full explanation of the Sigma features, um, uh, best practices, and Sige, hindi po tayo YouTube expert eh, pero we'll get to that. Um, practice muna ako. I'll take this opportunity na uh, masagot yung isang tanong ng isang Sigma owner. Kung bakit sinabi namin sa kanya na dapat ang barrel niya may dimple sa, sa lock. Sa, ano, sa barrel lock. Um... I'll just make it a short explanation. Um, hopefully, makatulong din sa iba kung bakit ganito ang gawain namin. And as far as I know, halos lahat ng, ng um, air gun makers across the world, yan talaga ang gawa nila. Laging may barrel dimple at may set screw. Okay? And I'm gonna be explaining that. Okay? Um, hopefully, coming up, after this is a full explanation ng Sigma. I've been really busy. Um, ngayon lang ako nakakabalik at nakaka-focus ulit dito. So, please forgive me for the absence. But, yeah. So, here we go. Okay. So, excuse the mess. Ito ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan ng dimple ang barrel. So, nakita mo naman yung barrel mo na pinilit mong i-tighten yung set screw. So, syempre, uumbok yung edge nyan. Diyan. Kung ang barrel mo, ay kung ang receiver mo, precision ng gawa. Perfect fit ang, ang barrel dapat dyan. Kung nakaumbok, pok, tatama. Scratch na ngayon ang loob ng barrel tunnel mo. Epektado na lahat ng ibang barrel na ipapasok mo dyan. Okay? So, so importante, identify mo na kaagad yung index kung pwede by sight. Kung nakikita mo lihis ang barrel mo, nakikita mo din yung lihis niya kung anong direksyon. Ang general uh, rule of thumb namin, i-point mo siya paangat. Like ito, may konting-konting lihis ang barrel na to. Lahat naman ng barrel may very, very slight na lihis. So, nakatutok siya sa taas. At least yun, alam mo, walang effect sa, sa windage elevation lang. So, kung, pata, kung pataas pa nga yung tutok niya, medyo lamang ka pa. Kasi, syempre, paangat ang, ang takbo ng pellet mo. Mas, mas maganda yung takbo niya sa long distance. Okay? So, Ito pa isang very big advantage ng may dimple ang barrel mo. So, pagpasok ng ganyan. So, ito set screw. Ito mo yung shape. Match siya sa dimple. See? Kung nakamatch ang set screw sa dimple, ibig sabihin yan, pag tinatighten mo siya, Sorry. Okay. Pag tinatighten mo siya, hindi ka ngayon nagahabol ng ano, ng sobrang hikpit. Kasi, once, ito, isang set screw pa lang yan, ha? hindi pa nakababa yung isa. Once nag-mate na yung tip ng set screw, tsaka yung dimple, lock ng barrel. Barrel is locked. No movement front and back, no movement left and right. Or rotational movement. Mawawala na. Kasi nakamate na yung, yung indentation sa shape ng bottom ng set screw. So, konting tight, tight na lang yan. So, hand tight, torque yung... Kasi kailangan mag ka sa torque ng set screw. Why? Kasi ang, ang receiver natin is aluminum. So, Siyempre, set screw is hard steel. So, as much as 
tinatighten mo yan, tighten ka ng tighten, ang bibigay dyan, syempre, yung receiver. Aluminum niya, maski, maski certified T6 pa yan, at the end of the day, mas matigas ang steel sa aluminum. Okay? So, ngayon, ito, ipuputo ko to, maski isang set screw pa lang. Why? Kasi confident ako sa tightness nito, na hindi gagalaw. So, maski nakaangat itong isang set screw, kaya ko ipotok to na alam ko accurate siya at pellet on pellet pa rin accuracy niyan. Okay, so, kita mo ang pag-tighten ko nito. Once nakuha ko na yung tight, yung point na tight na siya, konting extra tightening na lang. Solid lockup. Okay? Ayan. So there, um, <clears throat> that's the reason we take that extra step. Uh, we just feel that it's critical to creating a precision platform. So it's important that you have a very good barrel lockup to the receiver. Uh, that's that's a huge part of accuracy and uh, the um, repeatability. Um, you know, uh, for those looking for for precise groups, you know, the five shot, 10 shot, 20 shot groups, you want your barrel to be as rigid as possible. Um, the other thing, like I mentioned, um, we don't want to be chasing the barrel lock, you know, all around the receiver. Uh, you know, that's just adds complication and it puts you in a, in a, um, in a position where you're trying to figure something out and that's one extra variable you have to deal with. Okay. So also, um, just to give you a couple of tips on how to create a, a good dimple. So as you can see, we choose this type of, um, set screw. I don't know if you can see it, uh, for a reason it's, um, it's got a pointed tip. So what we do is once we determine the index of the barrel, you can then use this uh, into the receiver, put the barrel in the receiver and use it to mark the precise point where you're going to create the dimple. So what that does is it allows you to create a very precise mate. As you can see here, dimple is exactly where we want it to be. Also, the shape, you want to make it as perfect a match to each other as possible. So, there you go. So, how do you create a great dimple? I mean, a good solid dimple in your barrel. We don't recommend a drill press. So, we rec recommend going with the milling machine just just to have the, that precision. Uh, drill press tends to kind of chatter and, and jump around and you don't want that so uh gamit po tayo ng milling machine if you can go with a, um, a machinist that you trust make your mark um you know match it to the tip of your set screw and very uh, gently very slowly create um, your dimple you don't want to go too deep because then you're gonna get into the bore or mar or um, or s s you know deflect or you know uh, make a little indentation inside the bore if you go too deep. Okay, so there you go. Um, please stand by. I'm going to hopefully get to the next video where I go through the features of the Sigma um, the Sigma receiver. Um, our design um, uh, ideals, why we do what we do, um, why we design the way we designed um, certain features, and I'll take you through the features of the receiver as well. Okay, so thanks uh, for listening. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.